Hello everybody again. Today is Joanna Insko and today I'm going to talk about a really interesting topic because dialysis is not something that you already learned from the nursing school. It's not something that um, any nurses can just jump into the floor and start to do it. I am sure that a lot of nurses or a lot of um, new grads that they might interested to be a dialysis nurse but just don't really have the idea about what do they have to do so now today I'm gonna talk about what a dialysis nurse have to do in every day but first of all I have to give you some bit um, some background um, in in some other countries they might practice differently for example in my home country from Thailand um, we don't separate acute nurse and chronic nurse over in Thailand my um, my my nurses they would have to do both of acute and uh, chronic depends on the assignment each day but here in USA where I am practicing I am the inpatient dialysis nurse who take care of the chronic um, patient the acute one would be the one who works for um, the hospital which actually I could say um, they work for the company also but they would have a territory that they will be scheduled to be on this hospital at this hospital today and maybe tomorrow at the other hospital the difference of those nurses will be they will take care of the patient one patient at a time because most of the time they will have to go to um, the ICU unit which usually it will be in one room one patient in one room and you have to be there with the patient you have to have your own um, dialysis machine and your own water system that you carry with you and take care of that patient depends on how long of the treatment and um, I can't go so much with that type of um, treatment since I don't work that way this is what I know and maybe it would be somebody else that can explain you more about the acute setting for the dialysis so today I'm gonna talk about the chronic setting or you might know about the dialysis center that you might have seen around your house because it's quite a lot around your house if you really check on it i'm sure you know that there are two major companies in this country and you're gonna see how many of those locations around you and another thing that i also have to mention is about the way of working in each clinic in each location will depends on the management of that clinic in my clinic I have two shifts and the first patient will start to be on the machine which means the treatment start at 6 o'clock the second patient will be at 620 640 and 7 o'clock my shift start at 5 a.m. in the morning um, what I have to do when I first came to work will be I have to go to get my schedule to see which part that I will be working on today. Is that any lab works that require for today? Um, is that any special treatment that I have to do? If any changes or um, any site work that I have to do that day so I can manage my time better. Talk about part. I would compare the pot to be one little square because um, in my clinic I would have four patients one two three four this is how gonna be the seat that they sit so I can walk myself over this area first I will have to set all these four machines up which you will be trained to work with that it also depends on the model of the machine that you have in that clinic in my clinic, we use um, Fresenius to song soon soon fat T. Okay, I'm sorry, I have to talk in my language. 2008T, which um, we already have the patient chart 
in the machine that we can chart here. So I just have to start setting these four machines and then I have to get them tested and get all the cannulation setting ready for the patient. Ideally, I would be really happy if we can open the door to get the patient at least 10 minutes before 6 o'clock because that means I will be able to get my first patient on the treatment on time, which is 6 o'clock as I mentioned before. I needed to um, assess the patient. I needed to put a lot of information on before I can start the machine, before I can cannulate the patient. And once everything done for the first patient, anything would be minor for me to that patient since it's just 20 minutes more that I have from the first patient to the second patient and from the second patient to the third patient and from the third patient to my last one, the fourth patient, which will be at seven o'clock. Which means if I can take all these four on time, I will, more, I will be more likely to get them off on time and get my second shift on on time. So it might not sound really busy but once you're working, you will know. Sometimes 20 minutes is not enough. Sometimes, if you can cannulate the patient with your first, what should be the word? Which, with your first poke, like you cannulate them and you get the good position of your needle right away, you feel like you are spending more time on it because it's going to be a lot more complex work to do, a lot of the other assessment to do before you can finish from one. And also about um, since they start the machine, the patient will be stuck with the machine. They usually cannot move so much. They will be limited by the posture of the needle and the way that the the needle, the blood line connect to the machine. You are going to have to help them with the blanket and their drink or their little snack if they have those. Um, did I mention about TV? If um, they wanted to have TV on and it's not really working right now, you may have to leave all of those problems behind first and ask them to know that you're gonna come back to take care of this problem later because you already have three more patients waiting for you. Let's go to the next one. You're gonna repeat doing the same thing for four patients. I mean for three more patients, total of four for the first chip. And it would be very, very good for your time and your whole day schedule if you can put all these four patients on time about how to set up the machine and how to cannulate the machine, I may be able to explain about it separately. So after you finish this, you will be able to do some other thing which could be you will go to check on the other part setting to help them to get the correct setting because sometimes when you are busy, mistake could happen, error could possibly done so you can help them to check on it and correct it. And then you also have to um, get your second shift supply ready. You also have to do some other side works that you may have to be um, helpful for the others on the floor, such as you may have to um, stock the inventory, or you may have to um, get the lab work done, you may have to spin the blood work, or um, you may have to get the schedule for tomorrow ready. It can be any kind, it depends on the clinic. So after that, um, you also have to prepare about, after you get the second chip supply ready, you may have some time to do other job, like as a nurse on the floor, you have to assess your own patient. Before you start the patient, you also have to assess them to see if any complications that would not allow them to be hooked up with the machine today, 
if any um, fluid overload signs and symptoms that occur that you may have to talk to the doctor about it that would be the time that you chart all of those information to the patient profile and the treatment time that the patient mostly get on the machine can be from three hours to four hours some patient might get less than three hours some patient might get more than four hours so this is the time that you have to um, manage your own part about how you gonna get this patient done on time all of these four and during all of these four you also have to think about how you're gonna get the new set of the patient the, the second ship on which will usually start from 9 a.m. Um, I said that because sometimes the first chip may have one of the patient that only has three hours which means by nine o'clock you're gonna have to take that patient down and then it's not gonna be too long that you also have to take the second one down the third one down and the fourth one down in the meantime you also have to clean the machine set the machine up for your second chip which you also have to know which side of the access that um, the patient has if you could um, rotate them to the better position like if the access is on the right hand and the machine is here it's going to be easier for you to work it's going to be more comfortable for the patient to lay there for four hours and it also saved her for the patient to not have any accident with the needle position so that is the worst time of the day from nine o'clock maybe down to noon most of the time um, you will have to really rotate yourself around take this patient down take this patient clean this machine and take another patient down and try to get another machine set up and take another patient down it would sound really confusing when you are not in the field when you are not really know how the, the dialysis dialysis work but most of the time when you start to work just like when I started to work even right now I have been working for maybe 10 months I still feel like I have been singing in my own pot if I cannot get my first chip down on time and get my second chip down on uh, up on time so after that there's gonna be another repeat thing that you have to do which means you have to assess the patient you have to um, chart all the information that you have and then you also have to close the first chip you have to post assess the patient what what are the conditions that they have what are the complications that they have during the treatment all kinds of things and then again sometime around 2 p.m you're gonna have to do another taking down patient that way because sometime your first patient will be up at 10 o'clock sometime maybe like 10 20 or 10 40 depends on how your part work how your part works and that's going to be another busy time from 2.30 until maybe 3.30 or 4. And then you're going to have to um, clean your own pot and put the setup for the next day on. Now let's talk about the medication. We have a chart nurse that he or she will help us take care of the medication for the patient. It doesn't matter if that's going to be the oral medication or it will be the um, injection or if it would be antibiotic um, that's gonna be the chart nurse help you to do all of this and most of the time you're gonna have to finish this and you'll be able to get back home once you close all your patients in your chief and you set up the um, and you leave the setup for and you leave the setting I think that would be the better word to call if you leave the setting for the patient um, tomorrow so once 
the new person come to work in the morning they don't have to go to the supply room and started to find out what's the dialyzer that their patient need it would be easier for them well i think i quite cover what we are doing during the day but this is how to be a dialysis nerd who work on the floor and I have to tell you it's really fun and I enjoy working as my as a dialysis nurse maybe if you have any question about it you can leave the comment below and we can talk about it maybe one day you would like to be a dialysis nurse and you will enjoy your life just like me okay have a nice day and talk to you later